Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you gonna tell them your goals for 2021? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is 2021. Sorry, I did that to you. Um, oh, in case you didn't know, this is my baby girl, Micah Rose. And she's now, um, as of today, she's 17 weeks old. So that's almost four months. And she's very excited to be here with you and with me. Yeah, clearly I'm late posting this but oh well. Um, I just wanted to kind of put out there what some of my goals are for this channel this year and just in general with my um, internet art career. Is that what you would call it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that what you would call it? <laughs> I just want to be clear that as far as like, I don't believe in necessarily New Year's resolution. So this isn't a New Year's resolution. This is more like, as soon as Micah starts napping without me having to hold her the entire time, um, this is when this is gonna start. That as soon as she starts taking longer naps, which usually happens when she turns six months old, so that'll be towards the end of March, that will afford me a couple hours a day to be able to not only do things around the house, like cleaning and making food and things of that nature, but also um, ideally I would also have time to you know, make some artwork for po posting on my Instagram account, which in case you didn't know, I do have an Instagram. That'll be in the link below um, in the description. That would also afford me some time to, you know, make content for Instagram and for YouTube and, you know, all those kinds of things. So it's very dependent on when she starts taking naps because Micah is a very needy baby. So these are my goals for this channel and my Instagram this year. Um, I would like to start making one finished artwork a month and that could be something along the lines of maybe a painting or I've been practicing with gouache so maybe that'll be illustrations. I have some ideas for like monthly themes that I want to do maybe on Instagram um, and that might make its way onto the channel as well in the form of videos um, but you know things of that nature but at least one finished piece a month is what I would like to accomplish. Um, and then posting one to two videos a month. So that might mean that maybe I make some sort of sit down and talk to the camera kind of content, or maybe um, I'll put me talking over a video of me painting or um, real time paint and chat, informational videos and things of that nature. Um, I've been thinking that kind of the direction I want to take this channel in is kind of like reports on, you know, I'm going to try this thing on Instagram and we'll see how it goes. And then, you know, once <laughs> once I um, complete that, um, what's it called, challenge, I guess, then I'll let you know how it goes and maybe invite you to try it. And, you know, hopefully through trial and error, maybe I can um, kind of, what I'm, thinking of calling it is like decoding the business of art because I feel like ever since I was a kid the path to becoming a full-time artist ha was um it's just very unclear you know and I feel like the path is starting to become more clear um but there's still a lot of things that if you're not in the business it's a very unknown kind of thing that most artists won't talk about that's kind of like the direction that I want to take the YouTube channel in is not only just the regular like paint and chat so talk about what's going on in my life but also it kind of experimenting with um, managing social media and um, what's it called YouTube and things of that nature and like learning how to market your art and like grow a following and things like that um, basically from zero um, and seeing what works and what doesn't and kind of like reporting on what I'm doing and if it's working or not. Um, and I feel like that'll help me to assess if what I'm putting my time into is worth it and what's not. Um, so yeah, um, that's something that I would really like to talk about on this channel. 
Okay, so I do have some designs on my Etsy shop and I also have a couple digital downloads. Those are actually doing really well. Um, so one thing that I want to focus on in 2021 is putting out um, more content through my Etsy shop, particularly digital downloads. Because I've been finding that that's actually like a pretty profitable niche on Etsy and there like isn't a lot of um, upfront cost involved in making digital downloads. So that's a really nice, um, that's really nice, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of potential there and that's something that I want to pursue further. Um, okay, last but not least, some of uh, my growth goals for my platforms are to have 1,000 subs on YouTube and 1,000 followers on Instagram. Um, I feel like right now those goals are a huge stretch, but I feel like it's not impossible um, given that like sometimes you put content out there, especially when it comes to YouTube, you put content out there and like it continues to get subscribers and i'm slowly closing in on 100 subscribers right now i have 75 on youtube and let me check how many followers i have on instagram i know it's hello over 100 uh 133 so feels like a stretch um but i feel like it's not impossible so if you're watching this um and you're not subscribed or not following well, yeah, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe. And if you're um, not following my Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's linked in the description. So, um, yeah, so those are my growth goals for 2021. Um, I think that about wraps it up. I feel like these are some manageable goals, uh, but not totally impossible. So we'll see, especially if we get to uh, a thousand on each platform, um, then that would be super awesome. Um, there's a guy that like rides a scooter around here. It's like a motorized scooter and it's like so loud. I'm sorry. He's about to pass. I know he's gonna. <laughs> I've never seen the guy, but I just saw him and it's so funny because it's got like a like a beach cruiser style bike but it's all painted black and he has like a black mask on and he's like dressed up as like like he's in some sort of biker gang but he just is on a bicycle that he attached a motor to and i don't i just find it really hilarious anyways um yeah so that's all i got for you today um and if you're not subscribed subscribe so we can get to a thousand this year and i will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Micah. Say bye.